YouTube, what is up? We're back at it with another video. Um, first to start this off, shout to you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Shout out to anybody who's new. This is gonna be my story on how I got started into reselling to help you guys get started yourself because going into this, I was so clueless. I didn't know what to do. There was no videos to really help me. Hopefully this helps you a little bit and will explain like kind of how I did it. Um, it does involve luck. There's gonna be luck that comes along, but there's probably some guaranteed luck that will happen along the lines because I'm I couldn't imagine myself without getting a pair of Yeezys for retail. Like, I've gotten a lot now, so... Although, lately, I haven't. But, I'm gonna explain the whole story. This is how you get into reselling. This is kind of how you start. I'm going to explain the full guide today. Um, last year was a phenomenal year. This year's looking pretty good, except for February. February was absolutely terrible. Um, that's because I didn't get anything. Last year was phenomenal. I'm gonna get into starting it, and before I start this, the only reason I started reselling was because I hated waiting for Christmas to get the items I wanted. Like for Christmas, I asked for, um, I, I wanted something like a drone. This was what I wanted for Christmas. Uh, didn't get it, so I paid for it myself with the resell money. And I was really happy that I was able to buy it because I always wanted a drone, but um, I wasn't mad that I didn't get it or anything. Um, I just paid for it myself, so. Yeah, I got this, and um, I was able to buy a couple new things I never had before, like, I didn't have these before I started reselling, I didn't have probably anything you see on this back wall, I didn't have, I didn't even have this, um, uh, case in or this camera before I started reselling. It has really changed me a lot, and, um, it's amazing, so I'm gonna tell you guys everything, how to resell, how you start it, and yeah. So let's start it. Um... I would say I'm gonna start off with SneakerCon of March in 2000 and er, it's technically uh, it's close to April, very late March of 2000 and very late March of 2016. I went to SneakerCon Cleveland, not knowing what to do. The only thing I really wanted to buy there was some NMDs, which I ended up buying for like 160 bucks. They were the mesh ones. I was really happy with it. Plus, I ended up uh, selling a few things and buying. Uh, I ended up buying some LeBron 9s as well, so I, I was pretty happy there, and um, I didn't even know I was making money, but I made a lot of money there, honestly. Like, I made probably in profits of what I would have sold on the internet for a lot more at SneakerCon Cleveland last year. It was a lot more. So, that's kind of how I, that's kind of, I started, I started thinking about it, but I never really took it seriously until uh, May... You, you fast forward to May of 2016, the Flu Game 12's release. So the Flu Game 12's release that exhibition. Now I didn't make any money on these, but it kind of helped me get into the gist of like how you sell stuff. So I ended up buying Flu Game 12's. I ended up winning the raffle at exhibition for retail. First raffle at exhibition, there's gonna be many more. Um, I ended up winning those, and I sold them for about $2 less than I paid for after shipping an invoice fees. But it was good for me because it was good for experience. I was supposed to make profit. I was probably gonna make like a hundred bucks at the time if I sold it quickly. But I was charging like four hundred, and I shouldn't have charged that much. I was really trying to sell for really overpriced prices. But yeah, so I ended up selling for like two twenty or something like that for Flu Game Twelves. Fast forward to March. Um, I ended up selling a few of my shoes I already had because. Previously, like a couple years before, I had some shoes I had, but they were really like beat to garbage. So I ended up selling those and ended up making a little bit of money. Um, <clears throat> later in June, um, if you guys remember, the Grey Gum 750s release. This is what really started me off. Um, Grey Gum 750s release, I ended up buying those for retail. I won the exhibition raffle again. And my luck at exhibition was is getting like better and better. So I ended up winning those for retail. And you got I'm gonna explain to you what I did with those in a minute, but it was crazy. So I went into exhibition, they had an online in-store raffle. So you go on there, you enter your info on an iPad and they email you an invoice if you won. So I won and I bought for retail. And at the time they were going for about fifteen hundred dollars, which was absolutely crazy. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I did with those in a second. So Fast forward to July, 
Um, I was doing YouTube, but with the Christmas money I had from uh, Christmas of 2015, like, yeah, 2015, I bought this. This is what I used to film on. This little thing, it's been upgraded a lot, so. This is a GoPro Hero Session uh, 4. Great little camera, not good for YouTube if you're gonna like start filmmaking. Not good at all, but great for like sports. It works pretty well. So I bought this. $200 at the time, uh, stupid purchase, because I probably could have found, I could find for like probably, like, I don't know, I could find for a lot less now. But I bought that, that was my first camera I've ever bought. Um, yeah, that was previous. So since I had that camera and I thought it wasn't good, I decided to uh, film the shoes I had on it because I traded the gums at the time for a pair of Moonrock uh, Yeezy 350s, and that's probably how some of you, a very few amount of you may know me from uh, that trade video. Um, I did a trade through Scoop, and that's how I met Scoop. Um, I had to do a trade through him, and it worked out perfectly. I sent him my uh, DS Ray Gum 750s, and I received Pirate Black 2.0s and Moonrocks, and that was it. That was a trade. So. Um, yes, I won the trade clearly because they dropped a lot in price. Um, at the time they were worth a lot, now they're not. So, but ended up. I'm gonna tell you what I did with those. So, since I wanted the camera in July, I uh, first couple of days in July I sold my Moon Rocks, and immediately I went to the camera store um, and I bought a Canon T5i. Great starter camera. You can find it on eBay for a lot less than I paid. I paid 700. Uh, with some accessories, but it was a, it's stupid now because now they only go for like 400. So it's a really great starter camera if you want to start doing YouTube. It's a pretty good camera. So I bought that and I started using it and it worked really well. Great camera, except for vlogging, it was straight garbage. I don't know what it is. Like when you're moving around with it, I don't know. I don't know how to change the settings or anything with it. It was really bad for vlogging. But um, I used that and yeah, that was my first camera. First camera. I sold the Moon Rocks to buy that. So I basically traded Moon Rocks for the camera essentially. Then I still had the one pair of Pirate Black 2.0s left. What I did with those was I ended up selling them, uh, or I traded them to Scoop. This was my uh, first trade and I think the only trade I did like directly with Scoop. I traded him Pirate Black 2.0s and at the time this was a really good trade. Now he would be winning by a lot. I traded for Weatherman KD4s. Yeezy Foams and Diodoras, you probably don't know what those are, um, there's some gold and red shoes, I'll tell you what I did with all of those in a second, and what I did with uh, the obvious most expensive one, which is the Weatherman KD4s, is I traded them for just Don 2s, really good trade for me, um, got really lucky, um, I met a good dude who I talked to a little bit now, his name is Anthony, um, you can go watch that trade video, all this stuff is in my older videos, so you're gonna know what I'm explaining about if you go watch them. Um, just on twos, I traded for them. I sold the just on twos on vacation for 850, I believe. I think it was 850. So I sold them for 850. So I already made my money back because the pirate blacks weren't even worth 850. So I sold the pirate blacks for those. And then um, I still had two pairs of shoes left. I had the Yeezy phones. I traded for my first bot. So I, I met a really good dude named Ray Ray. I talked to him a lot on Facebook now. I traded him for his bot. Uh, basically, he said he gave me the activation key, and I shipped them to him. Great deal. Um, we it went out perfectly. And then um, later, I'm gonna tell you what I did with the Diodorus. Now later this month, I was looking to see what I could do with my money, see what I could spend it on. And I was just thinking, or uh, this was on vacation actually. So I'm on vacation after I sold those, and I'm at. And I end up getting finessed. I, I really got finessed on this deal. Um, I got scammed for the second time because a couple years back I was stupid and I like wired money uh, to some dude. I was really dumb for doing that. I was so dumb for doing that. But um, that was a cut. That was a while ago. That was in fourth grade. Yeah. So I basically sold my um, or I basically uh gifted this man who purposely made himself like look legit he did legit deals for a certain amount of time just to scam people fifty thousand dollars so that's exactly what he did um there was a whole thing going up on the facebook groups and everything about it he was a lot of people got finessed because everybody thought he was legit i ended up sending him a thousand dollars um 
he said he has a store plug that was going to give him a pre-order and it was a pre-order for some all white Yeezy, t Yeezy 350s that we're supposed to be releasing and I ended up getting finessed yeah that was not a great time for me I was kind of freaking out after that and I was doing some stupid things I should have never done um, after that I ended up shipping three pairs of shoes to this uh, another was supposed to be legit dude who wasn't and I was like so desperate because I had no money at the time and I wanted money like so fast and he said since I feel bad I'll trade you uh, DS pirate blacks and he said uh, make he said I have to ship first so I did and uh, I ended up getting my shoes back uh, I don't know how but I did so I ran along with that um, that is what happened that was basically August when I got finessed um, I sent the money in July but they were he proclaimed they were gonna release August 14th which was a really weird date I don't understand why it was so gullible but I took it and yeah you can basically there was no August was a terrible month for me but you can go to uh, September now September is when I started bouncing back I bounced back really well in September um, first I went to a show called Youngstown Kicks appreciate uh, Andy um, we're pretty good friends now I'm really happy I went to the show um, I ended up trading this is when I traded the Diodoras I traded them for some all-white ultra boost 2.0s I thought I was gonna keep them but then I sold them for 160 because they were used so I sold those and I made some money back so I was continuing to start getting money back at the moment and that's basically the show I just met a lot of good people and then after that uh, September 27th obviously if you remember that date that was when the beluga v2s dropped for retail obviously um i ended up getting a pair with my bot and that's when i started making my money back um so september i think october so october was the next month i did absolutely nothing in october october i didn't really do anything if i bought anything i don't remember i did um yeah i don't remember i bought anything in october um i did try however on the yeezy chocolates struck out uh, those did release in October, and then that was pretty much October for me, except Halloween. Uh, what's next? November. Um, November. November is comes along. I'm going to New York for SneakerCon. Uh, my parents took me there as a birthday present, and I was really happy to go. Um, I ended up offering them. Uh, I would pay for it because I was going to use some of the money I made off of my Belugas because I sold them. So the Belugas I sold, and I was like, okay, I'll pay a little bit of this. All I need is a flight, and then I'll stay at my friend's house, because I have my friend Santiago in New York. But um, that didn't end up working out. They just wanted to come with me, with I, which I understand, obviously, because you don't want your kid flying all over the place, obviously. But um, I ended up going to New York, and I went to SneakerCon, one of the best days probably in my life, except for this one thing that happened. So I wanted another pair of Yeezys, because I haven't had a pair of Yeezys in a while from this point. So I ended up going in the trading pit and seeing Oxford Tans, which was starting to grow on me. So I ended up buying them for 700 Stupid me didn't look at the second shoe, and there was a rip in it. So, yeah, it was a pretty flawed pair. I ended up uh, getting 400 back because of the flaw, because that is a huge flaw. Um, yeah, I got 400 back for the shoes, and I paid 300 basically. It worked out pretty well. So, yeah, I got the 400 back. Worked out pretty well on that deal. Um... Except I got it in February, so I got it last month is when it actually came in. So, yeah. Um, I tried on the uh, three V2s that released in one day. Got absolutely nothing. Uh, terrible day for me. I, I forget what I even did that day. I don't even think I did like anything that day. I should have got at least one pair. But I didn't get anything, which really, really sucked. And then we move on to December. This was a really, this was the best month probably I've ever done. Um, and I'm going to explain why in a second. So, December pulls along. December, you're going to go crazy what happens. This is when I got my collection up on Scoop's channel. This is how most of you know me. Um, because that video is probably at about 200,000 views right now. So, really good video. Um, it blew up. Haven't had a really good video since except the Hyperdap video, which you're going to learn about in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to get some more views, guys. Let's run it. <laughs> but, um... Scoop's video collection channel comes along. I'm like, you know what, my collection's alright, let's just do this. And yeah, I did forget in November I totally skipped something. Um, the Pharrell NMDs were releasing and I ended up getting those for retail. Uh, they weren't mine, but they were my brother's, but I entered the raffle. 
so he paid for them because I didn't have money at the time, I believe, for that, or I didn't want to spend my money. I don't remember what happened. They were just my brothers. So yes, I did have tangerine NMDs that came in from Exhibition, but we're just going to go back to December. December, what happened? Um, you started off the collection video. Crazy video. You guys probably know me from there. Total clickbait, but it worked out really well. I'm trying to get another clickbait collection video on Kaisa's channel. We're going to see if that happens from New York. Um, in New York, Cleveland, SeekerCon, when I meet him. Um, later this month, um, the, this is the day before my birthday, guess a good birthday present for me, the white and black V2s release, they released, and I ended up getting them for retail, not with my bot, I ended up cooking manually, and, I don't know, I got an add to cart really quickly, and I was able to check out, and it worked amazing, so I was able to get those V2s for retail really swiftly, and I sold them for 525 made some money there. The very next day, or the one of the next two days, it's one of the two, I get a random notification during school on my phone because I go to my locker, get my phone out, and I check my phone, and it says, uh, congrats, I don't know, it said something like, log into your Nike Plus app, we reserved you a pair of the Nike Hyper Adapt, and I was like, what? And then, I only thought they resold for like 1500 but I was still gonna buy them. I was like, 100% sure I would buy them. So, I was like... Yo, um, I just got these for retail. Holy, holy shit. Um, I, I don't know if you guys care if I swear, but, but it's what I do. Um, I ended up getting them for retail, and what I did with those is I made so much money off of them. So I look at my phone, I buy them, um, not even knowing. Well, no, I did know this. Um, I checked Goat to see what resale was. I only thought it was like a thousand five hundred ish. That's what I thought it was. Because I checked on eBay a couple weeks before, and that's what resale was at. But actually, to my pleasant surprise, they were going for twenty-eight. To, no, they were going for more like three thousand during release. Like on release, they were going for about three thousand dollars. I ended up getting my pair earlier than everybody else, so obviously there's less pairs on the market. There's more money to be made. I ended up selling my pair for twenty-eight fifty. I think it was. Something like that. It was something along those lines. Maybe I think it was actually twenty eight thirty five, but it was that much. Shipping was super expensive because I had the package insured. Normally, I don't really insure my packages because they always get delivered. I just find it just a waste of a couple dollars. But there's gonna be that one day that it doesn't get delivered and it screws me. But um, yeah, that happened and I was super hyped. I ended up you you don't know what you can even do with that much money, um, because the fact that like. It's just so much money that I had, and I'm going to tell you everything I bought with it. And, yeah, again, it just goes along with this long story of what happened. It's still it's still being written, you know, it's not ended yet. But let's just explain what I bought. I ended up buying, because I, I, I made profit on the Yeezys too, so I still had extra money. I ended up buying um, Shattered Backboard ones. I, got a, I sold some shoes too. Um, I ended up making profit on some other things as well that I bought, so there's, it's gonna be add up to be way more than 28, I think it's like close to 4,000 I spent, but there was, um, this camera, super expensive, this alone was like 1,500, um, there's the Shatter Backboards, s, &S Ultra Boost, uh, both of those were crazy expensive, um, I ended up buying Moon Rocks and made a lot of money on those, I ended up, uh, buying, what else did I buy, I bought, Gucci flip flops. I bought KD9s. I bought a new computer. I bought a new drone. Um, what else did I buy? I bought um, some Key to the City NMDs. Very rare sneaker. Um, I bought. There's definitely some more stuff I bought. I'm just forgetting about it. But yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy month. Um, made so much profit. And all this stuff I really bought in January, not really December. Um, plus I did get a little bit of money from uh, Christmas. I think I got like $200 maybe from cash in Christmas because my birthday is December 18th. So I basically get the same thing. So I ended up getting for, like $200 total for my birthday and I added that in my money. So yeah, crazy amount of money I had. It was insane. Um, yeah, I, I was so lucky to have that happen to me. Um, January, I ended up getting a pair of Two pairs actually of the OG NMDs. These things. I ended up getting two pairs of these for retail. I sold one for 350 and ended ended up being able to pay for my pair. 
and it worked out really well. Um, pretty happy that happened. Um, yeah, basically you just got a free pair of shoes. Um, but yeah, fast forward to February, nothing happened at all. So that's basically my story. A um, few scams along, um, and I also did buy a Supreme Box logo too. I forgot to mention that I bought that too, and that was pretty expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Long story. That's how I started reselling. That's how you guys can start reselling. Um, again, it all starts when you when you hit something. You gotta be able to hit something big, and that's what I've really noticed. Um, reselling starts when you hit something big, and that's what happened to me. Um, you gotta know what to buy and sell. Make sure you guys do buy the sneaker bible. I did forget to say about that. Um, it should be in the description below. Use code CLEESNEAK for $5 off. It's going to help you uh, get started. And it's going to help you not get scammed like I did. But, you know, I could have $1,000 more right now. But it sucks. Um, I did make it back though. And I was super happy. You, you can just imagine how happy I was that day. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Crazy story on how I started reselling. Um, make sure you guys do subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Go down below or go to the outro and it should give you a subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Try to grow here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, just let me know how you guys started reselling because my story was pretty long. Although, it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy thing for me that happened to me. Um... Yeah, like the only way I would get money before this is Christmas, and this was just a new thing, and I would get so much more money from this, and it worked really well. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Next video might be SneakerCon Cleveland. I don't know, but stay tuned for that vlog. That vlog is going to be amazing. We're going to go to a bunch of different stores, probably, and it's going to be fun. You're going to love that vlog. So see you guys in the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Please stay we're out. Peace.